me how you stay current on technology trends. Obviously, we have key strategic partners like AWS, like Salesforce and others that help us uh, stay up to date. We're looking to modernize and simplify our technology landscape, so we're looking at programs and projects that help us do that as well. You know, some of our big bets include things like digital marketing, e-commerce, data and analytics. At Verizon, we set the trend. <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> you the best the first way. to do 4G, <laughs> we're the first doing 5G. Uh, but again, to, uh, in all fairness, um, we all in, uh, into technology. So there are multiple avenues we stay into technology. One, where I'm on I'm multiple kind of uh, advisory boards. So that's how you can connect with different partners and you can see what's happening in the industry. Also today we have this, um, I have the Center of Excellence for Emerging Technologies. We have uh, regional meetings that uh, we conduct uh, on a regular basis uh, you right. know, to learn from each other and try to, to develop our skills. After doing the research and you know, comparisons and best practices, we try to apply it as I mentioned and then uh, look into does it make, make sense to our, our environment? Can it solve a real problem that we have? In order for them to go out and be able to solve these problems, they need to understand what solutions are out there. So right. we try to bring in vendors um, that we work with to say, show us what's possible. They need to be able to speak intelligently to our agency customers about what each of these do. You know, the product teams, obviously, they often know more about what's happening than we do. It just depends on the topic. Yep. <laughs> um, I think we work hard to keep our, our business line leaders, our CFO and our COO, informed of what's happening, try to offer them commentary. We're encouraging our teams to adopt tool sets like Slack to share information more consumably, right? Not to flood everyone with email. Right. Finding interesting articles and sharing them, taking that extra couple minutes a day can make a huge difference. It pays back pretty, pretty quickly, I would say. I took a fair amount of time curating my Twitter feed. So I follow quite a lot of people, you know, VCs and yep. leaders, etc., that are inspiring. And, and yep. I think Twitter has actually is a pretty good way of sort mm -hmm. of knowing what's around, getting tidbits of information, you know, food for thought, etc. Yep. That said, look, there's a lot of buzzwords out there from digital to yep. cloud to this, that, and the other. Uh, I'm a bit of a cynic about all those words. Our technology mission is to provide world class. Uh, technology to support world-leading science. So this is like right now, like we're looking at AI, ML, at machine learning, at RPA, right. at, uh, at uh, blockchain, um, and virtual assistants. So these are all technologies that are ripe, and right now where you, this is where you put like rocket fuel behind these technologies and start to leverage it uh, to make a bigger impact for our customers. We created a team called Business Engineering because we believe there are no IT projects, there are only business projects with an IT component. Right. And we uh, brought everybody together that was in that kind of customer facing role and we said your job is to you know, kind of manage, tend to this flock of agencies. What are these customers need? Where are they struggling? What's coming up? What are they thinking about? And how can we help? And if we don't make a dollar helping them, that's fine as long as we're solving problems for them, helping them get better technology. We talk very much in the primitives of IT, you know, at the end of the day, IT can be broken down into you can compute things, you can store things in memory, you can store things in longer term storage, and you can move things around. Right. Uh, and at the scale that we operate it at, uh, and the kind of reach that we've we've got, the kinds of conversations that we have at enterprise level with Amazon really talk about those things much more than stacks. So it's not it's not about a technology. Technology is always a tool. Right. It has to solve a real problem that uh, that we're facing.